Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to draw storyboards with um, Ibis Paint X. So, anyways, the first thing I start doing is I label the, like, the image. I label the scene by the page number and the, um, which scene it is, and then I start labeling the individual storyboard panels by the shot numbers. Then after that I go and I start labeling each shot like the type of shot each panel is and the reason how i know like which one is which is because i labeled each shot on my script which i'm um i'm splitting the screen between two different apps here and then i'm just following the script and writing the storyboards off the script so and then after that i switch layers into the one that i want to draw the actual panels for and then I start drawing. I have this um, rule of thirds sort of screen thing that I made on a different layer and um, I can move it around to the different panels. I made it using the ruler tool. I put it at 50% opacity so that I could see through it and see what I'm drawing underneath it. Also, please don't judge my art skills. I am not an artist by any means and these are just to help me decide like how to film each shot. And then after that, I start writing the description of like what's happening in the shot. And that just makes it easier to understand which shot is which compared to the script. So yes, if anyone is wondering, this is a script and storyboard for a new short film I'm working on. I made a YouTube short about a f short film I'm working on. But that one didn't really work and we kind of had to cancel it. But this one's new. It's with my homeschool co-op. For those of you who don't know, I'm homeschooled. It's called Homework. And it's basically about this girl who finds a paper that says how to clone yourself. And actually clones herself and uses her clone to do her homework for her. And this storyboard page is like the climax of the scene where, where the clone starts like rebelling because she's mad then they just kind of fight i'm not going to spoil too much because then you'll be like oh i've already seen it i'm just going to say i think the story is really good i wrote it no shame yeah so anyways back to the subject after i draw the panel and make it the way i want it to be if there's anything wrong with my drawing like which there usually is then i usually go and i write in gray underneath the drawing with a little asterisk i think that's what it's called in front of it and just say like have camera closer or something because that usually happens what i use to label each shot for like the ls and mcu like you see here on the screen um i use this picture to basically go off of and i usually draw it wrong because this is like a 169 format and i usually do my storyboards in a 239 one format so i usually end up making my drawings way too small and i usually have to say camera closer this is my third time doing a full set of storyboards for an actual short film the first one i did here's a picture of one i did um it was for mercury the youtube short i was talking about earlier in this video that was the one we had to cancel because it wasn't working but i did do a full set of storyboards for that and I didn't do it digitally that time, I did it physically. I prefer to do it digitally, I think it's just easier. Here's an example of the second set of storyboards that I did. It was for mind hunting, I posted that on my channel not long ago. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out, it's cool. Sorry for not explaining how to use Ibis Paint and like actually use the app, but I don't know, I, I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory and plus it's a little bit redundant. I don't know why I would need to tell you this, I mean, you can probably go look up a tutorial by someone. I could make a tutorial, maybe? I, I don't know. It's not really filmmaking related, but it's sort of related because I use it for storyboards, so I don't know. If you want me to do that, I guess I could. I don't know. I'm running out of things to talk about. Um, let me think. Okay, guys, um, it's the next day. I'm recording this voiceover within two days. Now I have a stuffy nose. Sorry if it makes my voice sound any different. I don't think it will, but if it does, you've been warned. So I'm going to start filming this short film this Monday, which I'm really excited about. It's going to be awesome. Oh, also, my birthday is in a few weeks, and I'm going to use all the money that I get. I'm going to get a Zoom H1N recorder because I think I'd, it'd be really useful for the type of stuff that I do because I film a lot of short films, as you've probably seen. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. I mean, a lot of it was just me talking. Maybe I should start a vlog channel. But anyways, bye, guys. See you in my next video.